Holy dooly. What a game. What these pies. We're back, baby. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way and I appreciate you so much. If you're a returning fan, super, whatever you want to call yourself, I, I love you and thank you so much. Subscription button, subscribe button, notification bell so you get a notification whenever these videos pop up. It would mean so much to me, but let's talk about these goddamn magpies. 145 Saturday Arvo, beautiful, pristine conditions at the MCG. It was a beautiful day for Saturday Arvo footy and um, the Pies didn't bring it at the start. They didn't bring it at the start, but they brought it by the end of the game. Um, so yeah, me, me and Dad got there, um, legend seats, good seats, uh, and and we got there just after the, 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 the bounce because we parked, the traffic was crazy. Um, and we were watching that first quarter, I was watching that first quarter, and halfway through it, I go, far out. This is going to be a long day if we go like this. We conceded five of the first six goals. And Port looked on fire like they, like they should have. They were, they were four and one. They're the best midfield in the competition. Um, you know, uh, Butters, uh, Horn Francis, uh, Rosé, uh, Ro Rosé, sorry. Um, you know, uh, Willem Drew and Tom Marshall. All these sort of players, right? And oh, four and one, four and one. Incredible, incredible. Um, but yeah, I saw that and I go, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. They, 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 they come to play and Collingwood just look a little bit rusty after the, um, after that buy, I thought the buy was going to do us favors, but after that sort of three quarters away through that first quarter, um, I thought, nah, this is, um, this might be a long day at, at the office. And then certain things started to tick, certain things started to change a little bit. We started kicking um, a couple of goals. We started running um, a little bit more. We were getting that runoff trend, uh, run off the back, the transition from the from the back half uh, to our forward half, that, that kamikaze run that I, you know, that I like to call it. Um, and we started looking pretty good. I was Port was still up by like 17 points at, at the end of quarter one. And I thought, okay, at least we've got a little bit of momentum going into the second quarter. Second quarter starts, Port kicked the first two goals and they get up to like a 20 something point lead. And, but those two goals came, I don't think we were playing bad at, at the start of that second quarter. Um, they just happened to score those two goals, right? And then something changed. Ironically, we flicked a, we flicked a switch, we flicked a power switch, and then we just went bang, 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 bang. We finished that quarter with six goals in a row. And we were playing scintillating Collingwood football. We were scoring off turnovers. We were scoring off halfback transitions. We were scoring off clearances. We were doing everything right. And then you, you watch that. You get up to halftime and you watch that and you go, we've just turned around like a 30. At, at one point, it was like a 30-point deficit. We've just turned that around. And now we're in the lead going into half time and it just goes to show you that the Brisbane game was a very good catalyst to the start of our season after losing the first three games and then the Hawthorne game the great escape game that showed us that okay if push comes to shove we can shut the game down for like 10 minutes and not score but still be able to win this game up until up until half time you go hang on a second this might be like a bit of a a bit of a resurgence for, for Collingwood here. This this might revive our season. And then the third quarter happens, and we kick five goals in that third quarter. And that might be one of the best quarters. I know we ended up kicking um, six goals in that second quarter, and we went to kick on uh, eight unanswered right after half time. Two, we added two to um, half time. But that third quarter was one of the better quarters that we've played all season. And it was perfect Pies football. I tweeted that the 2023 Pies are back because that's what it was. That's what it looked like. It was that fun. It was that joy. It was, you know, Bobby giving a, a handball to Lockie Schultz when he could have kicked the goal. It's Bobby getting four assists um, that he could have had, you know, four, five, six, seven goals uh, if he wanted to, but he was giving those uh, goals off. It's Bo McCreary's rundown tackle. It's uh, Billy Frampton defending. It's Darcy Moore taking those intercept marks. It it's Braden Maynard running. It's all these players. It it's Will Hoskin Elliott. Every single person played, or every single player was phenomenal today. It was absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, we always say, or, and Craig McRae always says, 
we celebrate the team things. And that's what they were doing. They were high-fiving after, um, you know, punches over the boundary or, or goals and, and, and this and that and tackles. And it was good to see that chemistry back. And I feel like if, if Brisbane was the catalyst for a bit of like the fire to, to sort of start, this is the momentum swing that we absolutely needed because we just kept going. And, you know, I would have liked to have won this game by 60 points. And we could have. We probably could have. We kicked 17 goals, 21. So if we kicked a little bit straighter, we probably could have. But we put on 123 points, which is incredible. And we scored a couple of goals um, at, at the last, in the last quarter where, you know, against especially against Hawthorne, we um, didn't score any goals in, the, in that last quarter. So that's a, that's a nice little change. Um, and we just keep putting the misery onto Port Adelaide. At, one, oh, at the end of the game, we were plus 41 in contested ball, plus 19 um, inside 50s. We, we, just, we just showed the competition that we are back. The Pies are back and, and Pies footy is back. And now we're 3-3 three and three, um, going into Anzac Day, which is it's not, probably not the start of the season that we wanted, and that's fine. But, but like Craig McRae always says, that, this is our story. This is not anyone else's story, right? This is our story. We're writing it how we want to. We're three and three going into Anzac Day. Darcy Cameron, probably his best game for the club. 25 hitouts, seven clearances. Nakos had 14 um, score involved and 750 meters gained. 15 contested possessions. The equal most on the ground. 15 contested possessions. Incredible. Um, Lippa kicked four goals. Where did that come from? That's a career best. Four goals, bunch of score involvements. Bobby, again, I mentioned him before, but the assist king. The one guy I want to give a shout out to the most, Will Hoskin Elliott. For me, personally, 10 coaches votes, three vote, three Brownlow votes, 13 score involvements, two goals. He was everywhere. He was marking everything. The perfect role player. And I, I think this game was was very good for role players. Um, Mason Cox did really well. Tom Mitchell played his role in, insanely. He had 10 tackles. Um, uh, you know, Josh Dacos did... All, all of these players played their role, like, to a T. Bo McCreary. It was just, you know, Mason Cox kicking... Two big goals. Uh, he, his first goals for, for the season. Can you believe it? Mason Cox hasn't kicked a goal this season. He goes on and kicks two really important goals. This was what we wanted to see from the start of the year. This was the Collingwood that we know that they can bring every single week. And we finally were able to see it. And what, at the MCG, on a beautiful day, we get to see the Pies absolutely annihilate Port Adelaide. In my preview, if you watch my preview, I talked a lot about how uh, Port Adelaide were flat track bullies, only beating, you know, teams that were lower than them. Richmond, West Coast, um, they smashed Essendon. Uh, then they just beat Fremantle. They uh, beat, uh, sorry, and then they lose to Melbourne. So any team that sort of pushes back on Port, they go back into their shell. Now that's four in a row against Port. Insane, right? It was a really good showing from, from Collingwood. Every part of the game just fired on all cylinders. Yes, we had a bit of a slow start, and that'll get looked at as, as to why we had that slow start. It could just be a bit of rust getting shaken off from the buy or whatnot, you know, not playing for two weeks. Uh, and then, bang, we, we take five-day breaks now. So stupid. A five-day break going into Anzac Day. Take a five-day break going into Anzac Day, and then, uh, then we take on the Bombers. But this, this game, I feel like this game, we will look back at it at the end of, maybe not the end of the season, maybe at the end of the home and away season and be like, wow, the, Port, the game against Port Adelaide at the MCG on Saturday at 1.45, beautiful day, that was the beginning of a, a massive Collingwood resurgence. I, I really do believe that. I don't know what the next couple of weeks has in store for us. I don't know what the next rest of the season does, but I feel like that is the resurgence of the Pies. And, and now we're 3-3. We're, three and three. we're back on even ledger, which is really nice. We have a chance to um, go 4-3 and three next next week against against uh, Essendon. But we did incredibly well. Lockie Schultz, two goals. Like I could go down the line. I'm just looking at the players' names now. I could go down the line and just name everyone because they all played incredible and you know I, I was pretty critical saying that the hunger wasn't there for a long time but today I saw it today I saw the hunger that was there um and even more so than than the Brisbane game I feel I feel like this was a better game than the Brisbane game the Brisbane game was a game that we needed to have but this game was one that was like you know people were I know we were going we were favorites going in with, with some punters and stuff but there was still some saying no nah, no nah, 
Port Adelaide are going to, you know, roll them and stuff, and Collingwood aren't that good. And we did look a little bit slow, and, and Port Adelaide's um, young midfield, but um, it was just fantastic. I mean, you can't wipe the smile off my, off my face because we were just next, we were just next level. And, and that's the Collingwood that we want to see for the rest of the season. But let me know your thoughts down below. What did you think of the game? This was just been my ramblings. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your best. And I'll see you next time. Double shackers. I'll see you later.